I'm Wallace. I'm Allie. And I'm Linda. We hope you enjoy the show! What is fast, loud, and crunchy? What? A rocket chip. <laughs> what has ears but cannot hear? What? A cornfield. <laughs> what is brown, hairy, and wears sunglasses? What? A coconut on vacation. <laughs> what did the traffic light say to the car? What? Don't look, I'm changing. <laughs> Two pickles fell out of a jar onto the floor. What did one say to the other? What? Deal with it. <laughs> Hi, Laurel here with one of our special eds teachers, Miss Worrell. So what do you like about being a teacher? I love being a teacher because I love to help people. I'm always happiest when I'm helping anyone. And when I was in second grade, I had a speech impairment and I stuttered. So I had a speech teacher who really helped me get through that. And I like to be able to help kids no matter what their abilities are or their disabilities are and really be able to help them overcome anything and learn. Why did you decide to work at Matt Arthur? When I came in for my first interview at Matt Arthur, it felt like home. It felt like a big family. The administration was wonderful. Everyone was always smiling. The colleagues, the teachers, um, it was just a wonderful place to be. And it's the only school I've ever worked at, and it's the only school I want to be at. What do you like best about Matt Arthur? I like Matt Arthur the best because it feels like a big family. I love being able to work with people every day who care about you and students who ask um, and are worried about you if you're not, you don't come to school, maybe you're sick one day. I just love the, just the atmosphere that everyone's loved and everyone's accepted. What is your favorite subject to teach and why? My favorite subject to teach is writing, and I know a lot of students do not like writing, but I love writing because it's a wonderful way to express yourself and write on your feelings and your ideas and just to show people how smart you are. So I hope everyone is writing every day because it's important to, just like reading. What are some of your hobbies outside of school? My favorite hobbies outside of school are hanging out with my son, Austin. Hey, Austin! He's in third grade Miss Cox's class, and we love doing things with our dog named Luke Skywalker. We love to go to Wild Adventures, and we also love to go to Legoland of Florida and go to Amelia Islands. We love to travel, so anything fun to do outside and, and learn and see new places. That's really nice. Thank you. Has anybody ever wondered what ASP is? ASP stands for After School Program. ASP is a program for children whose parents work after school and nobody's home. It costs $35 a week. ASP starts at 3.30 and goes till 6 p.m. Students who attend Mount Arthur Elementary and their parents have signed them up can attend ASP. At ASP, you do homework, play games, go outside, and do crafts. ASP is a great program at Mount Arthur. like science, technology, engineering, and math. Well then think about joining Matt Arthur's Science Olympiad team next year. What is Science Olympiad? Science Olympiad is an opportunity for students in third, fourth, and fifth to study STEM in a variety of ways. These students prepare for months and then compete with other schools in Houston County and all across Georgia. If you're 
interested, please see Ms. Tankersley, Ms. Erickson, and Ms. Buckholtz for more information. Man, I just bought these really, really good cookies. They're so good. Hey, I heard you like cookies. Well, did you know that cookies are high in sugar? Well, who cares? Cookies aren't the best. Sure. Dalton ruins, ruins everything. everything. These mice are so cute. And inspirational. Rats are disgusting. And they cause diseases. Dalton ruins, ruins everything. I got 20 wins last night in solo. No way. I got 40. Do I remember that game creative? I beat you in 17 Hey, I hear you played about Fortnite. Well, did you know playing too much br brains, <laughs> playing too much video games can rot your brain? Well, you actually control it and you get to build stuff and this could help you later in your life so you could become a builder and become a millionaire. Leave. Dalton ruins everything. Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah. Dalton ruins everything. This Diet Coke is so good. It doesn't have any calories or sugar. Yes, I do like the taste of Coke and Diet Coke. But Diet Coke or Coke, they both have sugar and calories. But see, yeah. look on the label. It says no sugar or calories. Oh. Yeah, those labels are just a lie and a scam to get you to buy more Diet Coke and more Coke. Dalton ruins everything. Hello, my name is Wallace. Today we will be announcing the highest RC points by grade level. Third grade, Wylan Heron with 387 points. Fourth grade, Oliver Goldbeck, 843 points. And this is the one you've all have been waiting for. Fifth grade, <laughs> Jeremiah Robinson with 1,077 points. Hi, this is Ali Corzine interviewing Miss Daly from Matt Arthur Elementary School. Miss Daly, how long have you been working at Matt Arthur? I have been working at Matt Arthur for eight years. This is my eighth year. What did you do before? Before, I've done a few things. I used to be a teacher. I was in the classroom. I know a lot of y'all don't know that, but yes, I was a teacher for several years. Um, and then I was a technology coordinator, and I worked with teachers and teaching them how to use technology in the classroom. And now I'm back to being a media specialist. Oh, nice. Do you have any children? I have one daughter. She's 21, and um, she goes to Kennesaw State. What's the best part about your job? Uh, the best part about my job, there are a couple things that I just love about it. I get to work with all the kids at Mount Arthur, not just one class, but I get to know the kids from when they enter pre-K until they graduate in fifth grade, and I also get to work with great teachers and staff. Um, but I think mainly I love to see the joy on a child's face when they read a book. So I love my job. What's your favorite book? Now, that's a really hard one. My favorite book, I have so many, um, but I think the book that touched me the most is probably the book Wonder. I read it several years ago before anybody would heard of it, and I knew then that it was going to be a very powerful book, and I think every child should read it. Um, it teaches us about how we treat each other and how you would react to someone that's different, and so that's probably my favorite book. Well, have a good day. Since you guys love our jo joke segment so much, we decided to do a riddle section. What has a head and a tail, but no body, and it's not a snake? What? what? A coin, because it has heads and tails. Oh! You're driving in a car. You're hungry, thirsty, and you have no money. All of a sudden, three doors appear beside the road. The first door says, open me, I can give you lots of money. The second door says, open me, I can give you lots of water. And the third door says, open me, I can give you lots of food. Which door do you open first? One. Well, it's a trick. You have to open up your car door to get to the doors. Oh. This is a tricky one. Stacy's mother had four children. 
Her first one's name was January, her second one's name was February, and her third one's name was April. What was the fourth child's name? What? What? It was Stacy! Thanks for watching! Hey viewers, would it be cool to go back in time and meet famous people? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd like to be a Franklin D. Roosevelt. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome if people Guys, could did y'all do the skit without me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, I'm we sorry. talked about this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Guys, we just I'm had sorry. to. We had to. We were getting bored. We haven't done one in I literally, I literally just rehired you. Hey guys, I just invented a new microphone. I think it can take me back in time. Please take me to Winston Churchill. Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no, oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh no. Um, who are you and what do you want? My name is Matthew. Matthew? God, get this man, he's a witch! Take me to Henry Ford. Whoa, where am I? Huh? Who are you? I'm Matthew. Well, I'm Henry Ford. What are uh, you doing? I'm just building a car. Uh, you want to help me? Take me to the Roosevelt's. Whoa, who are y'all? I'm Franklin D. Roosevelt. Who are you? Eleanor Roosevelt. What are y'all thinking about? We're uh, thinking about making the New Deal. Well, you know what you should do? You should help all the homeless people including the crazy guy with the pickle sitting right beside you, and help everyone and give them jobs and help them have money. Because America is struggling. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, y'all should do that. Oh my gosh, please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. Oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh my gosh. about our teachers who have summer birthdays. Here are the birthdays for June and July. Mrs. Relaford, June 6th. Mrs. Gideons, June 11th. Mrs. Brown, June 13th. Mrs. Passmore, June 15th. Mrs. Roberts and Mrs. Fletto, June 18th. Mrs. O Mrs. Augsburger, the 21st. M Mrs. McIntyre, the 20th. Mrs. Stokeling, Ms. June 22nd. Mrs. James, June 25th, and here's the July birthdays. Mrs. Pass, Mrs. Morris, Mrs. Walker on July the 3rd, Mrs. White, July 21st, and Mrs. Milner, July 28th. Happy birthday! know who the viewers will know who you are. Thanks for watching!